Hey, what's up, everybody? Kiel423 here from EpicCouncil.com, and I am bringing you the final part of the RGH Corona hack, or the Corona RGH hack, I guess. Um, I want to make a couple of notes. At this point, it's probably too late, but uh, make sure you, that you pay attention to my uh, my added notes in my videos. Uh, this was my first Corona RGH install. Uh, so in doing some testing and whatnot, I, I made some changes to the install uh, after shooting the video such as uh, uh, JP closed, uh, um, 1 to 2 closed instead of uh, uh, 3 to 2 on the cool runner. Also I, I removed the low loss. The low loss is a bit stiff and it's kind of hard on the motherboard when you solder that directly to it. It's easy for it to uh, uh, pull up the pad. So instead of using the low loss I went with the, the blue wire in the end. Um, I'm still doing some testing on it so uh, I have actually booted this thing once so I already have the key so it's going to pop up here once I read the name but uh, first thing we're going to do here is identify our motherboard and it is a Corona and now we're going to read the NAND and it's going to automatically read it twice here I guess I might as well clue you in on a couple of things here uh, uh, you're going to want to go to uh, Executor.com, or, or I'm sorry, uh, Team Executor.com, and uh, download your Corona timing files. There's six in total. Uh, they all work, but one will work better than the rest. Uh, each council is unique in its own way, and this is still a testing phase uh, uh, hack with the Corona or with the uh, Cool Runner version 3 coming out uh, very very soon uh, the boot times on these Coronas are gonna become a lot better and a lot more stable uh, right now I'm using a, a cool runner Rev C so uh, the updated materials will probably perform a little better um, another another quick hint here is uh, uh, when you're trying to boot Zell I guess it's known that uh, the Coronas don't always boot Zell. It won't show on the screen. So when your debug light on your Cool Runner quits flashing, chances are it's booted Zell and you just don't know it. So make sure you have an Ethernet cord plugged into the back of the the Xbox, and then you can come right down here to Scan IP Range, and it it'll pull it right up. So long as your computer is uh also hooked to the internet. Um, another thing is, is when you're trying to trying to glitch the console, you'll hear the oscillator on it uh, kind of buzz at you. That's normal. Um, they're just it's a noisy thing, so uh, it's it's not bad. So don't freak out. All right, that's read one done in two minutes twenty seconds. And like I said, I already did this once, so it pulled the key up right away. Um, normally you're not going to get the key right away and it'll pull up all this information right here but when you go over to KV info it's not going to give you any of this so uh, we're, we're going to just pretend that this this key is not here sound good? alright I don't hear any complaints so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while it reads the rest of this NAND here. Now let me explain uh, some of this stuff on the right hand side here. Uh, uh, you got uh, your 6BL and 7BL patches. As you can see they're different. Uh, patch 1 is at 13599. Patch 0 is at 14717. That's because these are on a split CB. Uh, the the higher number is the dash that your console is currently on. Uh, this one has an LDV of three, which means that uh, uh, this particular CB has been updated three times. This side two. And we're just about done with the name read here. 
Alright, as you can see it took 4 minutes, 4 seconds total. Uh, NANs compare and they are the same. So now at this point we're going to want to uh, flash the cool runner. On this current build of JRunner version 0 0.2 beta 279 they don't have the cool runner files uh, in it so you gotta go up here to advance and go to custom NAN and cool runner functions that's gonna open a window like this mine opened off the screen here so go down here to command and click XSVF and then come over here to open that opens up another window here now wherever you have your corona timing files is where you're gonna wanna look like I said there's six in total all of them will work but one will work better than the other so just pick one I'm gonna go with 2-2 two two, cause I've already tried 2-3 two three and 3-3 three three. Um, at the moment I'm kinda testing it uh, trying different wire lengths and whatnot and just click run another thing to note is uh, I, my cool runner is already installed so I have it currently switched to program uh, if you leave your cool runner on normal and you have it hooked up to both your NAND X and the console and the console is plugged in uh, there's a good chance you'll either fry your NAND X or your cool runner one or the other so make sure if it's already installed you have it switched to uh, program and then when you go to test it you'll want to switch it back to normal uh, now we're going to go ahead and create the ECC it does all of its coding for you there and it says right down here written into output image so it's good to go now you just click write and it's just right into the first 50 blocks of the NAND there so it's pretty quick alright now we're ready to uh, go hook the console up and attempt to boot Zell. so give me a second I'm gonna go hook it up okay so you may notice here that I I came back and changed my uh, timing file I went with 3-3 three, three, three. Uh, hooked it up a cold boot uh, three flashes that's 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 pretty good uh, now we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, scan IP range bear in mind again the console is all hooked up. It's currently powered on in the other room with an Ethernet cord plugged in. My computer is wireless. And it's scanning through all possible IPs. And boom, pulls it right up. It's it's priceless. Priceless. Alright, so I went and grabbed the console from the other room. Uh got it all hooked up to the computer again power plug plugged in uh, council is not powered on Nandex is hooked back up uh, now that we have our key here we can uh, create create an image uh, first we'll want to come over here and select our dash I suppose we're gonna go with image 15574 make sure you're on RGH2 being this is a corona and we're gonna go to create image you can see down here it goes through all of its all of its stuff and it says uh, the image is saved and image is ready so now we'll write that to the NAND and this is going to be another uh, another bit of a wait here while this happens um, again I want to reiterate uh, uh, each council is different and unique in its own way uh, that's why there's six timing files uh, and there's different methods of wiring um, you can try the low loss but uh, like I said it's it's not the greatest to have that solder directly to this particular solder point because uh, it's it's so stiff it's got a lot of pressure on it and it'll easily tear up the board or the pad um, honestly I recommend the uh, the just the regular blue wire uh, that comes with the cool runner I have mine trimmed down to approximately 36 centimeters or 14.17 inches and wrapped around the X clamp 
and then shove back up through the hole and hook to the cool runner. Um, and on timing file 3 3, uh, I just had it boot within 15 seconds, which is which which is superb for any slim or any council in particular. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm willing to wait 15 seconds for my council to boot. Sure beats the 30-minute uh, wait that some people have, or the 24-hour wait for the xenons. <laughs> uh, well, this is about done here, and this actually concludes my RGH install for the Corona uh, Xbox 360. There's really nothing left to show you. Uh, the last step here is going to be to, uh, aside from fiddle around with the uh, length of the CPU RST wire uh, and possibly trying other timing files, um, all that's really left is uh, put this motherboard back into the cage and get it all reassembled. It's uh, officially a full on RGH console. So, uh, I'd like to uh, like to thank Team Executor for all their hard work, uh, and bah humbug to the competitors claiming that uh, uh, that they came out with it first. We all know the truth. When you read it on Executor a week before anywhere else, you know it's kind of uh, dirt to dirt. Um, so big thanks to Executor for all their hard work and testing and uh, and Geely and you know all all the guys behind all this stuff. So uh, the people who make this possible, don't forget to uh, make donations where you can, if you can. These guys work for for peanuts. So um, anyway, this has been Kill Four Two Three from EpicCouncil.com. And this concludes my RGH install on the Corona. You guys have a great day.